Hey guys, Mr. Burns here. Um, today I'm going to be taking you through basic introduction of powers and a few different versions of how you might see them and a few variations of them. Um, this is a very basic video, so hopefully um, you can follow along. If you need something a little more advanced, just look at a few more of my videos. Um, so a power consists of two things. Um, it consists of a base, and this is our base right here. In this case, it's, a, it's the number two, so this is my base. And this, the second thing it consists of is an exponent. So this is my exponent. You might have known that already. Um, the entire thing together is called a power. Okay, so the entire thing together is called a power. And how we would say this number is 2 to the exponent 3. A lot of times you'll hear people saying 2 to the power 3, and I'll even say it sometimes just because I've it's just a common way of saying it. Technically, 2 to the power 3 is not correct. The entire thing is a power, but 3 itself is the exponent. So 2 to the exponent 3. Well, what does that mean? Well, the base and the exponent have two very specific um, agendas, we'll say. They have two very specific purposes. The 2 is the number that we're multiplying. 3 is the number that tells us how many times we multiply it. So what 2 to the 3 actually means is that we're multiplying the number 2 by itself 3 times. Okay, so what this means is 2 to the 3 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. So there's my repeated multiplication. 2 times 2 times 2. The exponent tells me how many 2's I have. Okay, so I have 3, uh, three as my exponent. So I have three twos multiplied by each other. And if you just add, you multiply those together, two times two times two, you get eight. So I'll let you know about a common mistake that people make, and I guarantee someone's going to make it, but it's it's just what happens. Don't let you be that person that makes that mistake. So um, one of the common mistakes is that people simply multiply the base and the exponent. So they go two times three is six. They think that they're, that's their answer. Done. Well, that's completely wrong, obviously, because that. 2 to 3 is equal to 8, and 2 times 3 is 6. So be very careful when you when you, when you you uh, write, your, write out your repeated multiplication. It's always a good idea to check. Alrighty, so let's have a look. I've got a little program here that I might want, I want to show you guys. It comes with um, this notebook technology that I have here. Um, and it just simply allows you to calculate power. So if you didn't believe me that 2 to 3 was 8, here's the proof. Okay. Um, and you can see anything, if your base is 1, no matter how many times you multiply 1, it's going to be 1. Well, what happens if we have an exponent 1? Anything with exponent 1, 2 to the 1, it's just the base. 3 to the 1 is 3, 4 to the 1 is 4, so on and so forth. Okay? So, very basic idea here of what a power is. All right, let's, let's make it a little bit more difficult. All right, so I have a negative base, and I have some even exponents here. So I have... Uh, negative 2 with brackets around it, 2. Okay, so again, this is my base. Because there are brackets here, what's inside the brackets is my base. So my base is actually negative 2. Okay, that's my base. So that's negative 2, and I have an exponent of 2, so that's going to be negative 2 times negative 2, and that's going to be equal to, we have an even number of negatives here, so 2 times 2. So that's going to be, or two times neg or negative two times negative two, sorry. So that's going to be four. So negative times a negative is a positive, so it gives me positive four. Now you can always tell if it's going to be negative or positive based on the number of negative signs you have. If you have an even number of negative signs, it's going to be a positive answer. So I had two negative signs, two is an even number, positive. If I have one, three, five negative signs, it's going to be a negative answer. All right, so you might think, well, this is exactly the same thing. I have negative 2 to the 2. Well, actually what I have and how I would say that is I have uh, 2 to the 2 with a negative outside. Because since there's no brackets here, if we think back to bed mass, brackets, exponent, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction, how I would do this problem is I would do the exponent first. So I do 2 to the 2. And that would be 4. 2 times 2 is 4 then include my negative. So my answer would actually be negative 4. Okay? So be very careful. My base in this case is actually 
2. If there's no brackets and a negative there, then my base is going to be just whatever um, the exponent is on. So be very careful. Okay. So in fact, what I have is 2 times 2. And the way some people write this is to just put a negative outside and put brackets around it. So what I, in fact, I have is 2 times 2 is 4. And that negative outside, so negative 4. Okay. And my last example is sort of a, a trickier example because you have brackets here. But you see that the, the exponent is inside the brackets. So in fact, all you have is just basically a rewrite of this one. Okay, so my base is still 2 because uh, there's no brackets in between my exponent and my base. So my base is still 2. And what I, in fact, just have, I have this, basically. Okay, negative 2 times 2, brackets, and another negative, and another set of brackets, which basically still equals negative 4. Okay, so I want you guys to be very careful as you're going through that. And remember what I said, when you have this situation, with an even exponent, okay, that tells me it's going to be positive because I have an even number of negatives. Well, let's look at the next case. A negative base with an odd exponent. Okay, so well, we have the same situation. We have brackets and a negative exponent, so that means my base is actually negative. This is the only way the base is going to be negative if you have the brackets here. Okay, so my base is negative 2, and what that means is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So what that means is I have an odd exponent, an odd number of negative signs. So I'm going to have uh, an answer of negative 8. Okay, so if my base is negative and I have a even exponent, I'm going to have a positive answer. If my base is negative and I have an odd exponent, I'm going to have a negative answer. All right, so if you look at these, this is very similar to the last one um, on the last page. This one right here is, a, is my base. The negative is not included in my base because there are no brackets. So it's 2. So I have, in fact, negative, negative outside times 2 times 2. So that's still going to be negative 8. Okay. And then this last example is the exact same thing. That gives me negative 8. All right. So uh, I want you guys to be very careful when you're writing out these. Really, really important. So I think that's it, and it is it. Um, thanks for checking my videos out. You can see more videos at uh, math.mrbarnes.ca or mathvideos.ca. Thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate it.